Good morning. I'm wondering what is it for you today that's that's loud and maybe obnoxious in your life? What is it that is that is yelling at you? We talked last week about the voice of the Lord being majestic and powerful, mighty. And um, I'm wondering today in regards to God's voice, what is it in your life that is shouting at you? Maybe it's many things. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's your emotions. Maybe it's your family and friends. Maybe it's all of the podcasts you listen to over and over again. Maybe it's all of the music that you continually have rolling through your earbuds. And it might even be good music. But what is it that is so loud today? that it is distracting you from what is necessary and what is really true and what is really needed that may not be speaking as loudly. Maybe it's the Chinese weather balloon crossing the United States of you. What is it that's so loud in your life? Emotion. Maybe it's grief. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's worry, maybe it's anxiety. You know, maybe it's work. Maybe it's it's some kind of a battle that you're fighting that has just completely covered the landscape and you can't seem to hear if there might be a whisper that's trying to break through, what is it for you? I know what it is for me, and I'm preaching to me, but I'm trying to give you something that you can grab onto in this moment when I'm talking to myself. What is it for you? It's a big old combination for me. And this morning, I I picked up because I saw a picture of it in my mind, I picked up one of my own books. It was Love Sings, and and God wanted to say something to me. But there was so much happening around me, loudly distracting me from what he wanted to say that he had to take me back there, open the cover, and wow, he had something to say, but it wasn't loud. I had to be quiet to hear it. And not only did I have to be quiet to hear it, but I had to get the rest of what was going on that was so loud around me to shut up. And so what is it for you that you need to turn off? Even whether it's for a moment or for a season, what do you need to silence in your life today so that you can hear the whisper of God? so that you can hear his still, small voice. I want to just read from 1 Kings 19, verse 11. The Lord God said, he was talking to Elijah, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake came a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. What is the loud rumbling? What is the earthquake? What is the fire that is distracting you today? Like me, do you need to get quiet and go in the cave, or it says in Matthew 6, 6, to go in your closet 
so that you can hear the whisper of the Lord. His intimate word for you will come to you in a whisper that will strike your heart in such a way that it moves you to know that was God. And like Jacob, who saw a ladder going to heaven and angels ascending and descending on it, and he said, God was in this place and I didn't even know it. Is God in this place and you don't even know it because of the loud distractions that are around you, even though some of them might be really, really good? He wants to speak to you and when he does, it's going to be in a whisper. And so today, as we go into this week, would you join me in choosing to silence the loud voices around you so that you can hear his whisper? Because I promise you that his whisper is going to change your life. It's going to change my life. It's going to change the atmosphere. And it's going to change the way that I see all of these loud distractions that are around me. It's going to be a great day.